Hello everybody. My name is Colleen Lagan and I make videos. I love making videos and before I was making videos, I was making records. One of the first things I learned was how to make my videos look good by stacking plugins. Pretty much like I mix records, the way I would put plugins on a master bus, I would do the same thing with video and I'm gonna show y'all real quick with some footage that I shot for a reel that I have on my website, galacticpolicy.com. All right, got this demo reel right here. Back it up. All right. Number five with five hour energy. People everywhere are finding delicious ways to yummify with five hour energy. Yum, believable. All right. This is all footage that I shot and put together. Now, one thing that I would do immediately, I would tell anyone is to learn how to use RT adjustment layers. You can probably see here that I'm working in Final Cut Pro X. And what I would typically do is go and grab an RT adjustment layer. Like you see here, you'll find them under the text tool. Drag it over. Okay. And just drop it in. What this is gonna allow you to do is have one uh, point that you go to to adjust all the overall uh, plugin that's gonna pretty much create the look for your video. And you can do this with any kind of video or um, movie, short film, whatever you're working on in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I take this and this is pretty much how I set everything up. And what I'm doing is I just make the RT adjustment layer, but I just wanna make sure I get it on top of all the clips, okay? So I don't leave anything out. All right. Now, one of my favorites to go to as far as plugins for Final Cut Pro X is pretty much everything made by this company called Crumple Pop. I'm crazy about all this stuff. I've got pretty much all their plugins already. Um, and one of my favorites out the gate, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, is uh, this here Koji Advance. Now, this was a joint partnership, I believe, they did with. Uh, Dale Gron, I believe the guy's name was, but I believe he did the the uh, uh, coloring for uh, Saving Private Ryan and a few other big films. But anyway, I love it. I love, love, love this software here, this plugin. So it's pretty much like this. You drop it in and uh, select the kind of camera you shot it with. Uh, let's go with my Panasonic GH4 here and my favorite 2383LC, favorite film stock to use. You see immediately a slight difference in the color and the vibe of it. You see that? I love what it does. It immediately gives you a, a pretty good look. And you have, of course, the same uh, kind of controls you'll find here with the color controls, blue, yellow, green, magenta, red, cayenne. But you also find a couple of controls here that you would really only find with some uh, film work uh, type plugins, gain, your gamma, lift, stuff like that. So, of course, adjust here and there. Dial to taste, as always, get it where you need to be. All right. So, another plugin I would go to would be, um, really oddly enough, this overlay one here out of the uh, Crumple Pop Color Kit. You can do anything you pretty much want to do here. You pretty much paint as you go. I'm just giving you a couple of ideas about what I do. I put overlay here. Um, set it up on add and then typically try to adjust to get on the highlights here a little lighter shade to use to just pop it up a little bit see that real slight that's what i normally look for slight subtle changes all right so i would do koji advanced a little overlay and then one of my favorite favorite plugins to use that Crumple Pop makes is one by the name of uh, Finisher. Now, this is one of those kind of plugins you can use to go in all kind of directions to get really hard to really soft. 
You can go from really hard to really soft and everything in between, okay? Subject background, tone controls, depth, contrast, brightness, saturation, detail. Immediately one of the things I tell people is to uh, take the detail back a little bit at the gate because it seems to go hard uh, with the default setting. But after dragging that back, bring up the brightness a little bit, play with the contrast, dial it in where you might want it. Def, keep it where it is, up there somewhere. Around 85, yep. All right. Keep that tone about right there. Background controls, subject controls. Adjust the taste. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I would probably do uh, at the gate, of course, with a lot more time. And uh, depending on what I would do for the client, I would do a lot of the different things as well. But for the most part, I just want y'all to see kind of what I would do to get a real fast look on a video uh, using some plugins from Crumple Pop. All right. So this is how it looks now. And this was nothing on there. Okay. It's a nice look, really nice look. Click, 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 pop, pop with the screen capture. Anyway, y'all, uh, I'm Colleen Lagan. Go check out my website, galacticpolicy.com, and see more of my work and my music and some of the stuff that I'm doing around the world. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you soon.